It's been a long year since the first one, but the new rock band is finally out. And if you played half as much of the original as I did, you have a lot to look forward to in the new one. You might be asking yourself, Christ, another one? But after getting to spend some real time on Rock Band 2, I definitely have some good things to say about the game. For those of you who have been living under a rock for the last five years, Rock Band 2 is the newest installment in a long line of rhythm-based rock games from Harmonix. In this series, you choose your instrument, guitar, drum, or vocals, and rock out to dozens of songs from artists from all different genres, from classic to punk to metal and even some ska. You work your way through the easier songs to the more difficult songs, and by the end you almost feel like you're playing a real instrument. The object of the game is to rock out across the world and become the biggest of big name rock stars acquiring roadies, cash, fame, and even the occasional groupie. What makes Rock Band 2 different from the original? Besides the obvious, a large selection of new songs, there are a lot of new shiny fun things thrown in. The character customizer is much more robust, giving you a chance to make your rocker look like he either just got back from hitting his bong or from cutting his wrists. There are dozens of new venues to check out, and the tour mode is much more integral to the gameplay this time around. You actually have to be an act and tour to unlock new songs. The concerts themselves feature many great new animations for your band members, as well as crazy new effects to keep things in the background worth watching. Of course, the meat and potatoes of this series is not the character creation or the touring mode, but the song selection. There are a lot of great new tracks that are simply fun to play. A lot of bands featured in early Harmonix games have returned, such as The Smashing Pumpkins, The Grateful Dead, Nirvana, Motorhead, Metallica, Kansas, The Red Hot Chili Peppers, The Allman Brothers Band, Rage Against the Machine, Rush, and many more. With the ability to import most of the Rock Band 1 songs and all the Rock Band 1 downloadable content, there's enough music for just about anyone. And don't worry, Freeze Pop fans, you get more than your fill of our favorite synth pop band this time around. Something worth mentioning for those of you who are like me and play these games way too much is that the difficulty has definitely been kicked up a notch. The guitar parts are actually somewhat challenging now. And for those of you who enjoy the drums, expect a lot of time yelling and screaming while you learn the new parts. Of course, while some may see this as a bad thing and making the game less accessible, I say that this is a welcome addition and that those who can't hack it on expert mode are just as welcome to play things on hard. There are some less than stellar things worth noting, unfortunately. With the mandatory tour mode, expect to spend much more time playing the same songs over and over again to unlock new songs. This is somewhat tedious, and I prefer the old system where the tour is optional. Another sour note is that many HDTVs will have lag issues, and the video calibration feature is lackluster at best. What happened to the automatic presets that actually worked, Harmonix? Another minute thing is that many of the same animations and character models are carried over from the first game, and even with a lot of new polish, you can tell some corners were cut. To be honest, even with these problems, the game overall is quite well made, and more importantly, fun to play, especially with a group of friends. All in all, Rock Band 2 is a worthy addition to the Harmonix stable. It certainly does not disappoint me, Rock Band junkies, and it gives new players a very linear way to pick up and play. I give this game a very solid 9 out of 10, and that's what I'm sticking with. Back to you guys.